just so self-conscious about it. I literally have nightmares about waking up and somebody seeing my. Forgiveness, yeah. It's more than saying sorry. Oh, yeah. Baby. Yeah. To forgive is divine. So let's have a glass of <laughs> no. milk I and can't. have make sure. Yo, yo, yo. Kisses. Matt, Matt. What? That was really odd. Have you seen the movie Just Friends? Yeah, but this isn't Just Bad Friends. Boy! This is Kyler and Matt's YouTube channel. Guys, welcome back to our channel, everyone. If you have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. There are a lot of buttons in this world, like this button, this button, this button, this button. The only button that really matters is this one. The red one that looks like this. Click that if you see it. Did you know Kyler is starting country music? Hey, yo, country music, let's go. We're going to talk right now. The first two are already hits, and the third one, I guess, is a surprise for me. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about my situation with my postpartum stomach after having the twins and Halston. So when I found out I was pregnant with twins, the number one thing that came into my mind first was how am I going to fit two babies in my body? I'm a very short person. I am 5'4". I'm petite. Um, I just was not sure how I was going to fit two babies inside my stomach. and. I was like so excited to have twins. Like it is seriously the best thing in the entire world. It's like literally hitting the lottery. And I was so stoked that they were identical and girls. It's just like the best thing I could ever imagine. I'm so happy for that and I'm so grateful, but I was so worried about my stomach. So I bought every type of cream I could put on my belly um, and worried about it all the time. I tried to work out a lot at the beginning of my pregnancy, so I would stay really small for a long time. I knew I was gonna get big eventually. A lot of people have twins and don't get stretch marks. I stayed pretty small, like almost the entire time, and then like within the last month, it like doubled. I was like a torpedo, here's a picture. My whole stomach looked like tiger stripes, like red stripe stretch marks everywhere. I was so depressed about it. Like I couldn't even, like every day I would just sit there and I would just like want to cry. Like my stomach's never going to be the same. I don't know why I was so self-conscious about it. I guess I'm just like, it's like my biggest insecurity and I don't know why. After I had the twins, I was so determined to get my stomach back and it just never went back. It's like loose skin, all floppy and scary looking, honestly. Um, that's why I only wear one pieces and why I never really show my stomach ever. Like, so. It's a big insecurity of mine. So instead of trying to hide it and being self-conscious, I decided I wanted to come out and talk to you guys because I know there's so many other women dealing with the same exact thing. My friend Kara, she had triplets and her stomach looks exactly like mine. So I might try this skin treatment that my friend Kara is doing, but I feel like it's such an insecurity of mine that I'd rather just get a tummy tuck. Tummy tucks, you know, they cut you from hip to hip, and I heard that your belly button ends up down here, and they make you a new belly button, which is kind of weird. I feel like it's honestly the only way to fix my problem. I'm just so self-conscious about it. I literally have nightmares about waking up and somebody seeing my stomach. It's like those nightmares when you like show up to school like without your clothes on. Like I have nightmares about people seeing my stomach. That's how bad it is. It's something that I've always wanted to get fixed, and um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a surgery and get a tummy tuck and I'm really nervous. So I need you guys' positive comments and positive feedback to make me feel better. If you ever had a tummy tuck, can you let me know how it's gone? If you recommend any doctors, I would love to know. Yeah, any other moms out there who've, who have the same type of stomach as me that have gone through medical treatments. If you've had any medical treatments for your stomach that isn't a tummy tuck that's worked for you, I would love to know that as well. Something that you need to find if you're insecure, like me, is a husband who builds you up every single day. It's exhausting for them, but it's great for me. Kyler, come here. You're so nice. Every day I look in the mirror and I go, Kyler, my stomach is ugly. And he says, you're beautiful, and you gave me three beautiful girls. Yep, that's right. And I say, matter. thank you, and then the next day I say, Kyler, my stomach is ugly. And then I give you another big hug. <laughs> and say it's fine. And then the next day I say the same thing again. And then I and then I am grateful and then I'm not and I'm grateful for my stomach and then I'm not. It goes back and forth. As I'm sure 
happens to all of you guys. I always call so, them battle scars. Battle scars, yeah. So battle scars. You want to see my battle scars? You want to see my battle scars? Okay. What battle these scars. girls have to go through. Oh, yeah, you're going to show them? Yeah. Okay. So, it doesn't help that I'm like so pleased right now. My stomach does not see sunlight ever because I. Listen, if you're going to do this, I'm going to do it too. You know? Look at that. I'm like fat dad guy, you know? Okay, well, I don't know if you guys can see. I'll show you. It's like just a lot of loose skin. It's really bad. Yeah. Um, so Tatum, Oakley, Halston. No, this is all from Tatum and Oakley. Oh, My stomach yeah. did not ever use to be Well, that's like because your stomach was Halston. out to here. So I just wear high-waisted pants like this and just try to hide it. But even then, you can still see all the stretch marks. It's really bad. Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. That's fine. Let me give you a massage. That's the first time I've ever showed anyone my stomach besides Kyler. So. I got you. And I've shown his mom before. We're going to get it fixed. Madison wants to get uh, something done. Uh, when are we going to do that? So, here's the timeline. So, I want to get it done now. But obviously, we <laughs> think that we might have one more baby. Maybe. And we I'm might like, be pregnant. Oh, yeah. Thumbnail. No. No more clickbait. Just kidding. <laughs> no more clickbait. Sometimes we do clickbait, guys, okay? This is not clickbait, though, okay? We might want one more baby. We need our little boy. But it might be a girl again. Hopefully uh, it's not twins. Chances are it'll be another girl. Hopefully We'd it'll be twins like, again. Just, like, prove this time and time again, and we just have girls. Yeah. And if it's triplets, my stomach's already ruined. So it's like, bring on the babies. I already have a stomach that's all ruined. So I'm gonna get it fixed and hopefully I can be the guinea pig for all of you that haven't ever done this and are in the same situation. I'll be your guinea pig, I'm gonna get the surgery done and I will tell you how it goes. If you guys know any other alternatives that work, please comment and tell me, please. Or if you know any friends that have figured something out. Because I don't really wanna be cut from hip to hip, but I will do anything to get rid of my biggest insecurity so that I can be confident and happy and a good mom and a good wife. Oh, you're a good mom and a good wife anyway, so you don't need to worry about those things. But, um, Thank you. how do you feel about telling everybody about this kind of stuff? It's scary, but I don't know why. Like, everybody else is honest about their lives. I don't feel like I should hide anything from you guys. And it makes me feel better, like, almost speaking out about it. It's yeah, like a it therapy does. session. Yeah. For sure. Okay, so. Well, guys, this is our video tonight. We didn't do uh, anything crazy today. Madison felt like this is something she wanted to do and share with you guys. Uh, it's kind of just like, it's freedom, you mm -hmm. know? So that's what she wanted to do tonight, uh, was talk about her biggest insecurity. And uh, are you glad you did? I think so. Okay, well, what's done is done. Guys, we love you. We're so grateful for the Fish Fam. We know that you guys are super supportive of us. Uh, we watch and see it every single day. We're super happy um, that you are a part of our lives. Uh, anything else you want to say, Bob? I love all of you. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for making us feel so awesome. And I cannot wait to keep making fun videos for you guys. And the next video will have our cute little girls on it. I know you guys are probably sad they're not on this video, but... <laughs> so chunky right now. I'm so chunky. Okay, tell the fish from honestly how much you weigh. No. Why? I, I weigh 195. What? So what? What? What did it say in our Vegas hotel? Yeah, yeah. that was wrong. That was wrong. It said 202, but it was completely wrong. What did it say for you? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Um, 114. See, it's wrong because we know, we both know that you are not 114. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, I need to lose a couple pounds, okay? That's just what happens as you get older. I'm just a busy guy, okay? Kyler's going to get a six pack. I'm going to get a tummy tuck. Can we just end this thing? Okay, fine. Guys, we love you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching our video tonight, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Goodbye.